Now, we are back. We were able to reach our CWD, which is the cumulative weight distribution of the active players. Okay, so basically I had to head in and look at all of the weights and change stuff around based on, you know, right at the end of the roster. You know, I um, had to make certain that I had the 35 players and all of them fit under the CW uh, D, which is the cumulative weight distribution. I mean, as you're able to see on here, I had to switch stuff around. Uh, for instance, uh, Lamar Lundy originally had six uh, grams. I had to switch his to five. Uh, Roger Brown had uh, six point four, and I had to switch his over to five point four. The reason is is because right at the end I had one player who uh, was a three and a half grams, which was a where's he at? Which is here. This one here. And I was short uh, three and a half grams. So I had to take a gram off of Eric Dickerson, which I had him originally at seven grams, but instead, you know, he ends up at six grams. Uh, I had to take weight off of Smith. Hill Hera. And after I uh, took all of that weight off of them, you know, I reached uh, three and a half grams. But this is still a really strong running team, you know, uh, plus it'll have real outstanding wide reese Heavers as well, plus it'll have an outstanding uh, defensive line still. So we were able to create, you know, um, actually in theory, what we want to have as a team. Now, the last part of it is to actually add weight on the players. Uh, I use this year lead tape and I can either stick it under the base or under the uh, platform. Honestly, don't believe all of the lies. It really doesn't matter, you know, base or the figure because all of it is one athlete and it's still the equals out to the same weight even if you separate them. Trust me on that. I'm a, a scientist and I do understand you know a lot of things on weight uh, distribution. So here I'm gonna start slicing off pieces of weight and sticking them on the actual uh, athletes and creating its look.